Following inputs, the National Investigation Agency has busted a cross-border smuggling network of arms, ammunition and explosives in Mizoram on Saturday. In another major setback for former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, he and his wife Bushra Bibi were sentenced to seven years of imprisonment by a trial court in Rawalpindi's Adalia Jail, India. Un Islamic marriage case on Saturday. Maritime piracy and smuggling will not be tolerated under any circumstances, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh said in Vishakhapatnam on Saturday, adding that this was the promise of the new India. The Roos Avenue Court on Saturday allowed AAP MP Sanjay Singh to take oath as MP Raja Sabha on February 5, 2024 in custody. Now for the news in details. Following inputs regarding the operation of a well-organized large-scale illegal arms and ammunition supply network operating in certain northeastern states, the National Investigation Agency has busted a cross-border smuggling network of arms, ammunition and explosives in Mizoram on Saturday. One of the key accused, identified as Langai Homa, a resident of Marmit area, has also been arrested from Oizol. The arrest was made as a part of investigation into a case registered by NIA on December 26 last year. According to reports, the accused, along with others, was engaged in trafficking of arms, ammunition and explosive materials, not only in the northeastern states but also across the border. He was working in collusion with various operatives, including insurgent groups, situated across the international border. The illicit weapons and explosives are suspected to have been used in violent terrorist acts and criminals act criminal activities across different regions. On the announcement of Bharat Ratna for veteran BJP leader L.K. Advani, Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Vishnu Dev Sai said that he deserved the award and continued that Advani made a big contribution to the development of the nation. Sri Lal Kishan Advani ji ko Bharat Ratna se samanit kiya gaya hai. Vastho mein iske wo hagdar thai. आज कहीं न कहीं इस देश के विकास में उनका भी बहुत बड़ा योगदान है इस देश के वो मतलब वो प्रधानमंत्री भी रहे और कितने बार सांसद भी रहे मंत्री भी रहे तो बहुत बड़ा योगदान देश के विकास में उनका भी है in another major setback for former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, he and his wife Bushra Bibi were sentenced to seven years of imprisonment by a trial court in Rawalpindi's Adyala jail in an Islamic marriage case on Saturday, marking the third conviction this week for the Pakistan Tehrike Insaf PTI founder this week and his wife second. The judge issued the court's verdict in the case pertaining to the plea filed by Bushra's Bibi's ex-husband Kawar Manika. Early on Wednesday, an accountability court sentenced the former Prime Minister and his wife to 14 years of rigorous imprisonment in corruption case. In the Toshakhana corruption case, the jailed PTI founder was accused of retaining expensive state gifts he received during his tenure as Pakistan Premier. The couple is also banned from holding any public office for the next 10 years and slapped with a fine of rupees 787 million each. Manika filed a plea in November last year seeking legal action against Imran for marrying his present wife while she was reportedly on Idad period. The Idad period, three months, is a waiting period that a Muslim woman must observe an account, on account of the death of her husband or dissolution of the marriage. Manika, in his petition, had termed Bushra and Khan's nigah fraudulent contending that the marriage was solemnized during her Idad following her divorce from him. That above said, nikah and the marriage ceremony was neither legal nor Islamic as it was solemnized without observing Ida period. Geo News quoted his petition. Bushra Bibi's ex-husband also accused the former PM of ruining his entire life while stigmatizing the complaint and his family just to achieve his unethical and immoral objects through intrusion in the complainant's peaceful marital life. 
During the hearing on Wednesday, PTI party lawyer Salman Akram Raja said that the case was only aimed at humiliating the petitioners, highlighting that the complaint against Khan's marriage was filed five years and 11 months after the nikah in November 2023. The counsel for Manika told the court that the witness had testified in the trial court that Bibi was in another marriage with Imran at the time of their marriage ceremony. The trial court indicted Khan and Bibi in the marriage case last month. Bibi, 49, hails from a family of landowners in Punjab. Her first marriage, which lasted about 30 years, was to Manika, who is from a political influential Punjab family. SP Supremo Akhilesh Yadav visited Gonda and attended a wedding ceremony at the house of the SP district president. Meanwhile, Akhilesh Yadav addressing the media and said that the BJP centre and the state government has failed in a zero tolerance. Yadav said that the land mafia has the highest record in the BJP and it is active in Gorakhpur itself. The government also lags behind in employment, investment and doubling the farmers' income, which they have failed miserably. He further said that the memorial built in memory of Matias was also demolished. SP Akhilesh Yadav said that the INDIA alliance will be stronger and bring victory. And only PDA will defeat NDA this time. BJP's divisive politics will not succeed, he added. Akhilesh appealed the BJP to remove EVMs. If BJP loses, EVMs will also be removed. Later, Akhilesh left for Barabanki after the press conference. जो यहाँ के मुख्यमंत्री हैं वो भी छह सात साल हो गए उनके और ये तीसरा बजट पेश होने वाला है जो लोग जीरो टॉलरेंस का नारा देते हैं जो लोग कहते हैं कि कानून व्यवस्था पर जीरो टॉलरेंस पॉलिसी है और गोंडा के लोगों से क्या पूछना बताओ हसीये से हसीये से बैंक लूट ली ये जीरो टॉलरेंस है लगता है इनकी सरकार में कानून व्यवस्था जीरो हो गई इनकी जीरो टॉलरेंस की पॉलिसी जीरो हो गई कि आज उत्तर प्रदेश में सबसे बड़ा भू माफिया कोई है तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के तमाम नेता भू माफियाओं का काम कर रहे हैं जमीने कब्जा कर रहे हैं और दुख बोलूं खुशी बोलूं या जीरो टॉलरेंस पॉलिसी को याद करूं अभी कुछ दिन पहले मुख्यमंत्री जी गोरखपुर गए थे और गोरखपुर जाकर के उन्होंने कहा कि भू माफियाओं पे लगाम लगनी चाहिए अगर मुख्यमंत्री जी अपने क्षेत्र में ये सोचते हैं कि भू माफियाओं को लगाम नहीं लगी है तो बताओ गोंडा में कैसे भू माफियाओं की लगाम लग जाएगी क्या भू माफियाओं का जो नारा दे रहे हैं जीरो टॉलरेंस का क्या जो जमीन कब्जा रहे उन्हें ये सरकार छू भी पाएगी क्या और फिर अगर इतनी साफ सुथरी है अगर ये वाकई मर्यादित हैं आदर्श जीवन के रास्ते पे चलते हैं तो सार्वजनिक क्यों नहीं करते रजिस्ट्रियां गोंडा की रजिस्ट्री कर दो सार्वजनिक सबसे ज्यादा जमीनें किसने खरीदी हैं अयोध्या की सार्वजनिक कर दें कि रजिस्ट्रियां किसने की हैं इतने बड़े घोटाले और जब पुण्य काम हो रहा हो उस समय गरीबों को तकलीफ और परेशानी दी जाए ये लोग कहते हैं नौकरी मिल गई रोजगार मिल गए अभी आपने देखा रोजगार के नए अफसर लोग इसराइल जा रहे हैं लाइन लगी है इसराइल में जाने के लिए सोचो वॉर जोन में यहाँ के नौजवान 40,000 हजार पैतालीस हजार रूपए की नौकरी करने जा रहे हैं जो निवेश के सपने दिखाए थे निवेश कितने जमीन पर पहुंचे हमारे किसान की क्या आय दोगुनी हो गई ये प्रधान और हमारे पत्रकार जानते होंगे ये जो विकसित भारत का जो नारा देकर के आयोजन चल रहा था क्या प्रधानों से पैसे नहीं वसूले गए बीस हजार तीस हजार प्रधानों से वसूल करके विकसित भारत का सपना दिखा रहे हैं या इसराइल में वॉर जोन में भेजे जा रहे हैं ये नौकरी नहीं है और ये जो बीजेपी के लोग या बीजेपी के नेता अपने मंचों से कहते हैं भारत माता की जय हो हम सब भारत माता की जय बोलते हैं भारत मजबूत बने ताकत बन मरे खुशहाल देश बने हम सब चाहते हैं लेकिन सोचो शहीदों की याद में जो रिजंगला में बना था स्मारक जो रिजंगला में स्मारक बना था चीन की फौजों ने आकर के वो स्मारक तोड़ दिया द रूस एवेन्यू कॉर्ट ऑन सैटरडे एलेट दैट 
AAP MP allowed AAP MP Sanjay Singh to take oath as MP Raja Sabha on February 5, 2024 in custody. He has been arrested and charged cheated in the Delhi Excise Policy Money Laundering case. Meanwhile, the court extended the judicial custody of Deputy CM Manish Sisodia and AAP MP Sanjay Singh till February 17th. Both were produced physically before the court. Special Judge MK Nagpal allowed Sanjay Singh request to allow him to take oath in judicial custody. He withdrew the plea, seeking interim bail to be attend the ongoing parliament session and to take the oath. It was submitted that he has to appear before a court in Sultanpur, Uttar Pradesh on February 7. Advocates Rajat Bhardwaj, Dr. Farooq Khan and Prakash Priyadarshi appeared before for Sanjay Singh. We'll now take a short break. We'll be back with more news. फिल्म अनुकूल नीति सिंगल विंडो सिस्टम ऑनलाइन शूटिंग की अनुमति और सब्सिडी की सुविधा ने उत्तर प्रदेश को बनाया है देश का मोस्ट फिल्म फ्रेंडली स्टेट 80 फिल्मों को सब्सिडी के तौर पर दिए गए हैं चौवालीस करोड़ रुपए विभिन्न स्थानों पर 450 से अधिक फिल्मों की हुई है शूटिंग स्थानीय कलाकारों को मिला है अपना हुनर दिखाने का अवसर माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी मानते हैं कि सकारात्मक फिल्में समाज को जागरूक बनाने का आधार हैं। इसी के अनुरूप माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी की पहल पर विश्व स्तरीय सुविधाओं से लेस इंटरनेशनल फिल्म सिटी की स्थापना की जा रही है फिल्म स्टूडियो होटल्स मॉल्स थीम पार्क मिक्सिंग और रिकॉर्डिंग स्टूडियो जैसी सुविधाएं फिल्म उद्योग के माध्यम से आकर्षित करेंगी पूंजी निवेश मोस्ट फिल्म फ्रेंडली स्टेट नए भारत का नया उत्तर प्रदेश नाउ वट इज एवरी वन इज परचेजिंग अमृत सैम दे बाई क्वालिटी द बेस्ट प्राइस द बेस्ट Technical service that too is the best, and on top of that, the strength of CSH gel. Even hmm. engineer sir was talking about it. What is it? It is like Amrit for homes. See here, foundation, roof, lintel. CSH gel adds life to every dhalai. With Amrit Sem, your home becomes immortal. When the whole country is building with Amrit Sem, what are you waiting for, Janab? Amrit Sem powered by CSH gel. Har dhalai ki jaan. We invest a lot on healthy living. Are we taking equal care to prevent HIV? Avoid risky behavior. Dharma, tiger hai na? Black tiger cement. Welcome back. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath inaugurated Divya Ganj Rainbow Festival at Gambir Nath Auditorium in Gorakhpur district. While attending the event, a disabled Muslim youth chanted Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Mahashwara, Guru Shakshad, Param Parambra, Tashmai Shri Guru Ve Nama and Jay Shri Ram in front of the Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and greeted and praised him. गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षा परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु वे नम हरिषित माही करत मन मोही राम प्रभु सुख नाम ही हो विधि कर हुए सुख ही अनंता हर मुश्किल टल जाए संता राम सिया राम सिया राम जय जय 
The Chhattisgarh government has established an ease of doing business sale for entrepreneurs and taxpayers in the state. This initiative is said to aim at streamlining the administrative process to startups and entrepreneurs and to address GST registration processes. The sale will serve as a one-stop location for taxpayers, offering complete information, facilities, trainings, seminars and workshop update seat. With this, establishing a startup in Chhattisgarh may become easier, benefiting both small and large business. The establishment of the sale marks a significant step towards realizing Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dream of making India a developed nation by 2047, according to Chhattisgarh Finance Minister O.P. Chaudhary. The Chhattisgarh Finance Minister highlighted that the state government is actively working towards fulfilling the vision of a developed India. Abdi said that the newly established cell not only facilitates the establishment of startups in Chhattisgarh, it also expected to provide convenience and support to entrepreneurs, businesses and taxpayers. The Southern Tanku Student Union had launched an agitation against the state government for failure to execute works of different routes. Agitators say that the four important routes, namely Yangam Pokpi Bazaar to Chadong, Kangkum to Wangli Road, Lane 29 to Nongdam Road and the Sikibung to Lupong Road are in dilapidated conditions for a long time. However, the state failure to execute works even after being approached several times has forced the union to start agitation. The union, while addressing a press conference at Manipur Press Club on Saturday, said they had already given ultimatum to the government to complete the work by Christmas last year and therefore they are now starting different forms of agitation and along with it will also knock the door of the central government. I, the President, Southern Tango Student Union, we are here today relating to the PMJSY road. Package number Yangampokpi Bazaar to Chadong, Kangkum to Wangli, Tanghongdong Lamkai to Nongdam, Shikipung to Lophong. On that 2 uh, November 2023, and on 6 November 2023, we submit a memorandum to the PR and RD, Minister of Government of Manipur. And we even appeal to the department and the concerned minister to look after this matter as soon as possible. And we also ask the government to complete and in this, uh, before Christmas 2023. But so far, from the department side or from the concerned minister side, there is no response. So we, the Southern Tango Student Union, strongly condemns in this matter. So we, the union, will start our agitation in our jurisdiction with different movement. And we will even go to the Delhi to meet the union minister to take up this action immediately. Ahead of the Lok Sabha elections, the Party Ajanta Party has appointed new office bearers of the party. Jatiska BJP's President Kiran Singh Dev has appointed the state office bearers with the consent of National President Jagat Prakash Nadda, media report said. The party has added one more General Secretary, bringing the total to four. Reports say Sanjay Srivastav, Ramji Bharti, Jagdish Rora and Bharat Lal Verma has been appointed as the General Secretaries of the party. Also because Ranjan Mato will be the State Secretary for the party, while Raja Pandey, Anurag Singh Dev and Rajneesh Kumar Singh have been appointed as the party in charges of Surguja, Bilaspur and Bastar Division respectively. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday while speaking in an event in Odisha, Sambalpur, said that the country's new budget announcement is a guarantee of empowering the poor. Be it the youth, women, farmers, fishermen, this budget guarantees everyone's development, he added. I, your Bano, two days before the country's new budget came. In the past 10 years, 
जिस नीति पर चलते हुए देश के 25 करोड़ लोग गरीबी से बाहर निकले हैं ये बजट उसी नीति को और मजबूत करता है इस बजट का ऐलान है गरीबों को सशक्त करने की गारंटी हमारे युवा हो महिलाएं हो किसान हो मछली पालक हो ये बजट सबके विकास की गारंटी देता है और आप ये भली बात ही जानते हैं कि मोदी की गारंटी यानी गारंटी पूरा होने की गारंटी भाई और बहनों मोदी की गारंटी है कि देश के हर गरीब परिवार के पास अपना पक्का घर हो Further, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister also said that in the last 10 years, electricity has been provided even to those villages which were in darkness even after the independence of the country and brought a new revolution of LED bulbs in the country so that the electricity bill of the poor can be reduced. Now, a rooftop solar power scheme has been announced for one crore families. <laughs> आपके खर्च कम हो ये हमारी प्राथमिकता है बीते दस वर्षों में हमने उन गांवों में भी बिजली पहुंचाई जो आजादी के अनेक दशकों बाद भी अंधेरे में थे हमारे इस अभियान से उड़ीसा के भी 25 लाख से अधिक परिवारों तक बिजली पहुंची हम एलईडी बल्ब की नई क्रांति देश में लाए ताकि बिजली का बिल कम हो अब हमारा प्रयास है कि देश के गरीब का बिजली बिल भी जीरो हो जाए इसलिए इस बजट में एक करोड़ परिवारों के लिए रूपटॉप सोलर पावर स्कीम की घोषणा की गई है इससे छत पर सोलर पैनल लगाकर बिजली पैदा करने वालों को मुफ्त बिजली तो मिलेगी ही वो ज्यादा बिजली पैदा कर उसे बेचकर उसके भी पैसे की कमाई कर सकेंगे और ये हमारा उड़िया तो सूर्य भगवान के साथ जुड़ा हुआ है जहां कोणार्क का सूर्य मंदिर हो वहां हर घर में तपता हुआ सूरज एक नई जिंदगी लेकर के आएगा रूपटॉप सोलर की इतनी बड़ी योजना से देश में रोजगार के भी लाखों नए अवसर बनेंगे That's all for the Primetime Bulletin. This is your anchor signing off.